And a Georgia judge is hearing closing arguments in a case that could have major implications for the November election. NBC's Jane Tim is outside the courthouse. Tell us about it, Jane. Georgia's controversial Dominion voting machines face their biggest test yet in the courtroom behind me, where good government groups and voters are urging a federal judge to bar the state from using their existing touchscreen voting machines. The plaintiffs argue these machines are so vulnerable to hacking that it violates voters' constitutional rights to allow them to be used by voters here in this state. Uh, now, this proceeding has been going on for many years, and Georgia's last voting system was also tossed by this judge in this same proceeding. Now, the judge has made it clear she doesn't want to overrule the legislature's authority to choose a voting machine in this case, but there are a lot of other things she could do, and however she rules, it really could scramble elections here, either by uh, changing policies and procedures for election workers in the middle of a busy, contentious election cycle, or simply by casting doubt on the integrity of elections down here. If you go into a primary season or a general election with a federal judge who says these machines can be easily hacked, it's going to change how voters feel about the elections. Uh, now, this, these plaintiffs are not uh, election deniers per se, uh, but election deniers and Trump allies have absolutely seized on this case as, case as the kind of proof they have been looking for for all these years, proof of the sort of alleged voter fraud. Uh, but at the end of the day, election workers say that this is any changes in an election year could be nightmarish. And the state says these systems are real world safe, that the hypothetical hacks that you can talk about a courtroom or even demonstrate in a courtroom, as we've seen in this case, are actually prevented by the election policies and procedures that go into every election. Either way, voting starts here in just a couple of weeks, early voting for the presidential primary on March 12th. Uh, so we're firmly in election season. And whatever happens, it's going to be heard well outside this courtroom. Without a doubt, Jane Tim at a very important hearing today. Thank you.